They are on defense, but they are taking proactive measures in terms of their movement. Uh, standing in one spot, Neri opening up with Kamiyu as well. The yeah, head to head between these two is honestly so insane. Think about it, but Kamiyu is the one to come on top eventually. And now, Iceberg, it's the other members of AECL push forward. They are in two men deficit, regardless. Capricious, she is doing very sneakily, bringing out the demon Aluka with the run and gun. Gets Kamiyu finally. Their flash pushes Capricious, uh, Capricious back as Ayumi, 16 HP, has to be careful. Ayumi made her way on in. Rosie, big spot to play. She gets the one, but only the one as best is there to clean up house. Zomaraki, great opening round here on their attack. You off guard. It's like a heart attack. I'll find you in astral form. <laughs> I'm saying at this point. <laughs> Are you okay, no, Tosh? It's okay. Vision. We're uh third series on in. Lots to do, lots more to go. Best opening entry. Actually, no, it's Capricious who finds that one. Iceberg stood no real chance. That's Capricious finding the second follow-up in Neri here. I'm wondering where did she go? Wasn't she right here? Did she back out to CT? Bye. Nope. Still gets damage on the Miha though, but let's go down afterwards. Ayumi, last one left alive this round. Done by Alter Ego, and Zal should be taking this. Ayumi, last person standing, they at least take two. She can get value from one more. And we caught eventually. Not enough to do the, anything. In terms of range of engagement, and make sure that they don't try and take these unnecessary oh, yeah. fights. So you're gonna see them group up quite a bit, and when they hit, they're gonna hit hard. ACL likes playing aggressive, and I think for the side of Z, uh, of Zomaraki, they are very aware of this. They read Red Victors like a book, and I wouldn't be surprised if they know exactly what to expect from AECL as well. In a lot of situations for AECL, a lot of teams, it's hard to go against them when they go aggressive, but what happens when you don't get the response, when you don't let them dictate how exactly each round goes? Capricious already on the site. No charges left. Wouldn't I just take her time as she waits out the Conkas? For now, not getting get that value from that dash. She moves away backwards, but she does at least have an idea. At least that there might be two or three on the site. Yeah, I mean, it isn't out of the question to re-hit this right now. There's still two defenders pulled towards that B site, and if they ever do get a pick off, oh no, Camu, this mistake I see happened quite a lot. They do pull a bit of the attention though, at least towards B, so that should help the entry just a bit more towards this A site. But the star is giving away. Now they know there's someone here in garage. Navsky finds the one, Camille goes down. She's made her presence known and she pays a hefty price for it, Tosh. Three, rather two, B, five, Ooh, iceberg. iceberg. Yeah, this is really cool. inside, and she still finds it. That's very, very sneaky as best. Ten seconds. Gonna left. be slowed, but she will take her time with this. Where exactly can you look? That's when there's going to be so time. many different girls from different areas staring straight at you. This match against Alter Ego. Where are you? For now, Napsky, really aggressive with that haunt. That smoke potentially saving her life just now. That's Rosie. I'm really liking the default coming through as Kamiyu swings out from the other side. That's a good Tag team situation from Zol is absolutely scary, but not without chunking off 70% of Kamiyu's HP. Well, she takes that fight. Doesn't take it, doesn't win it in the end there, Ayumi. It's gonna be a big loss here for the defensive side of Ultra Ego. Zol, they are on their favorite attacking side. Statistically, they do better on this, but Navsky wants to equalize the odds no matter what, hell or high water. You want to fight it! I mean, pretty equal for them, statistically at least, is all on the attack Ooh, here as well. Updraft to grip her a bit more of high ground. This help position is going to have to come in favor by Capricious. Look at this! Oh, the oh double kill God. for her! It completely dismantles the defense of Alter Ego on the A site! She baited them! Usually you would see a jet dash into her own smoke, but how they set it up there is she updrafts upward on top of the boxes, catching everyone off guard. They don't expect her to be over there. She plays this nasty corner, and for now, you don't One check your corner, man. but how did she get away with that? Great recovery, and Neri finds best. You see, the party oh. comes out, but not before Miha stops her. What on earth is happening? Ego. 
but these you are the things that play. play a factor. Play. And decision making becoming a problem, it could be part of the reasons and why we end up seeing those type of rounds. It's also the warm up as well. Momentum from the last game brought over, even though it was a 45 minute break. Let's be real here. It's a lot longer wait compared to Alter Ego Celeste. Regardless, I think what you're calling just now is called a gamer hours. <laughs> we don't wake up Defense. in the morning. Let's be real here. Okay. Shot doesn't connect. Tosh. Yes. A sensei of the DJ hours. <laughs> I see you're awake at the nah, early man. times of the night. I've retired. I'm on grandma hours now. Oh, really Especially now. as the age is coming into another year soon. Do you have an alarm on when it's bedtime? Oh, heck yeah. I really do. <laughs> I literally do. It says sleep good. Nice. <laughs> Hopefully you get your good sleep after tonight because we're burning the midnight oil. Best opening things up. It's an anti-eco here from Zol. Oh, things should go their the way. Precious. What on yeah. earth? Look at the momentum come through. Quick recovery by Natsuki from the backside. Not able to find Miha. That crouch. Saving her life, all Iceberg has is just that shorty. What are you gonna do about it when Capricious is feeling hot? Crush them. Way too clean, way too easy here. For and look at the pace here coming through from Zolmaraki. They are completely dictating the speed and the pace. Capricious almost getting caught up, but Neri still gets two. That wow. is a very deadly combination. But Capricia is still very much around. She plays this corner, does get caught out eventually. But look at Aneri. She is very aware with that information how she wants to play this. Immediately, Capricia has to give up that space. She is marked inside of the smoke. But no one is overextending. They don't have to. Shock dart coming through as well. No one gets tagged. And Rosie still waiting in the corner. A different way of AECL playing and I have to say look at this this is a very aggressive nightfall they want to push them and immediately they have full control of A long but Ayumi in the backside that's crazy pushing them out of A long and straight into Ayumi's sights standard play there but one that's quite effective sometimes simplicity is exactly what you need the seas into the paint shells more than enough to gain them the value that they put out for that play. And Zal backs against the wall. Seconds left. 5v2. And this round, it's about due to end. There's no way, really, to bring this one on back. They can. They can take away the if they get they this pick. To. Yeah, Ooh, that could have been at happen. least big economically if they drop it and stop Ultra Ego from recovering it. But yeah, this round is done. Miha knows that she's got to save the weapon left. instead. They've got more rounds to play. Quiet in the garage. No clue that they're just moving toward the other side of each other. The second so point from AECL. A great recovery, but I really hope. Hasn't been working out for them. Cracked shells have shown them that result. They go for the exact same play. <laughs> I was kind of hoping they would be on a different site. Yeah. Regardless, that haunt, they're going to get the information they need. As for Kamiyo and the rest, they're taking their time. Do you see the, the readjustment by Zol Meraki here? Every single round, they don't allow the same thing to happen over and over. These small minor readjustments have been great for them. And it catches a lot of teams off guard, even us as casters. Yeah, I would have liked to see that play that Zol just, I mean, Ultra Ego just threw right now. The C's plus Nade combo. Maybe thrown towards C or the C mid grass long, instead. Or, yeah. Yep. Or in front of garage would be great. Even. Look at the lurk here though. Look at Camu. She's been able to slither her way into that A link. And now she has a potential to cut them no off. But way. On the crap. Oh, that's no. gonna be Iceberg finding her. Blast backs out to keep him at bay. And Neri absolutely oh huge God. play this round. She's been coming alive these past two rounds. And another oh potential God. flawless could come here for Alter Ego. Great recovery. From Alter Ego, and we call this, and I really like seeing the slow left. plays from them. Bess all alone right now. What are you gonna do? She's good for one, good for two! Bess making the impossible happen! There's still three more to worry about, but not in Ayumi's sights! No, 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 not just yet. Don't get carried away. Alter I, I like the forgot the baby. It's, it's a funnier meme. They are so no. I would, I would hope that nobody forgets their baby. So... <laughs> Let's not let's not continue this trend, Tosh. <laughs> this is not something.
<laughs> it really isn't. Push Look it. at this corner and Neri is playing. This praise come through. She does get attacked. She's playing the corner oh. of death, but they know there she is. Aluka in the backside. She does get conf concussed, but here comes the party. Does it hit? No, wow. Camille was faster. Wow. And so was Capricious. Insane speed coming in from Zolbaraki. That's the second showstopper that has been stopped. Did you see how much utility they dropped on that site? The concuss with that fault line. The stun with the Astra's gun cast as well. Everything coming into play. Just nothing that Alter Ego could do in that round. Maybe if an area was able to get a kill, but these sheriffs on Zolmaraki, so, so proficient at being converted into round on wins. Ayumi, maybe she can find a pickoff here with this tour of the forest. It does come though. 3v2, winnable round, but things are crumbling here at the scene for Alter Ego Namsky! What a round from her! Get stunned though, the fault line connects, the time is ticking. She can play out for time, and Miha once again coming in big to secure the eco round for Zol. Oh my god, what just when you think somehow gets that kill with her head hunter. I don't even know where she <laughs> finds it or rather how she finds it, but it's a big place. Zolmaraki, it absolutely <laughs> stepped up. Their honeymoon seems to have not ended just yet. B side is theirs to take and that they do. Alter Ego Celeste here in the post plant retake. Forever. Look at that. Just moving around each other, weaving and an airy with the opening on to Rosie. Regardless, Napsky. Finds one, and she finds two. Down. Prowler gonna clear out Gong at least. Doesn't find anyone. Camille. Luca's timing! It's just not on her side. Bess finds one as well. And now they're dwindled to a three versus two. Bess and Napsky, all they have is just this corner. The smoke is not allowing her to Last push safely. Stand. If she pushes, she catches one, but the cross is ready. What well, around here for Zal Meraki. That late lurk absolutely just secured the round here by Camu for the post um, plant kind of uh, off site defense on that post. Instead, they waited inside of it and took the brawl right to him, and they okay. still want it out. Can she get the tap here? Is the question. she suspected? Camu just so unlucky. There's two or three people there, but look at the speed coming in from Zolmaraki, knowing that everyone is on grass. That cosmic divide is good to buy some time. Capricious is not scared to take up space. Still holding the area here. She can weave in and out. Her teammate is there. They trust each other. Capricious pushing out once again as a Neri. They are very, very aware that there is going to be at least someone in the back for that backstab. Allows them to be able to isolate some of these fights. Head being found by Yumi. 5v3 right now in the favor of Alter Ego Celeste. Here comes out the Cosmic Divide. The curtain drops and oh my goodness, they clean up house. They mop the floor here with Zol and Alter Ego. What an eco they've just pulled off. You get a thrifty, you get free upgrades. It's a great day. So they put a lot of utils early, but they still make sure they have enough play, of that post plant. Play. That Cosmic Divide did everything. Bring Worked so many favors here okay. for Ultra Ego Celeste. They've gotten four rounds, which is the minimum that you want Ooh, on want this that. half. And Ayumi, great pick. Look at that. She goes in for more. Tosh said don't, don't double dip, but seems like she doesn't want to listen. Capricious. She ate that damage from that Roomba. Yeah. We've, we've seen so many times that Zol Meraki's have team who is not afraid to eat up that damage. Not afraid to take up space even with only one HP. Precious waiting inside a smoke, looking for the right time. Is potentially Enemy empty as best finds Aluka. C as well. They have full control of it. B and C if they want to. But Spike rushing into the C site here. And the rotations coming in here. Miha is the one that Whoa. will swipe the floor with Ayumi. And without the up, it's going to be a little bit of pressure off their shoulders. Rhyming the alphabet, A, B, C, it's all phonetic because the sound that Zal's making here is a rumble. A thunderous cry to take this map away from Alter Ego. A map that, barring today, once again, they've looked perfect on. But Zol Meraki, they want to further stain that record as it hasn't already One been today. Remaining. This round is pretty much done. Oh, Nabti gets caught on out. Oh, the blades cut God. her up. Sushi made. And Zal, they secure the advantageous half person 
and it's cleanly done. Right, it's yeah. very, very yeah. surgical. Yeah. You can see Aluka kind of pre-aiming the deeper angle, doesn't realize how shallow already on the peak Bess was. Just catches her out. This is what's so interesting interesting about Zal. They are by far in the top four, the team that doesn't play around the same kind of structures most of these other teams play. They really are great at shaking things up and diverting expectations. Great find here by Capricious, but they've lost the pick in return. Oh, she heard the teleport here, Capricious, if she times it right. She might be able to get it. Bayumi, she has her eyes trained. She knows exactly where the spike is. Mm -hmm. Movement can be key. They do. They actually know that it's about to happen here. But the most important thing is not peak. And she misses. Capricious putting a smoke down, giving him some really space good. to move and get the plant. This is going to be big for them. They do have 46 seconds. Lots of time to play. They know exactly where best is. Careful, not allowing for the double swing has been vital, but here comes the conquest. And she buys some space for herself. Aluka finds Capricious, but at the end of the day, Best can't do anything at the conquest. And Iceberg seals it. Round 12, going to Alter Ego. They just end it if they stick a bit too close to their guns. Shock that comes through Haunt. Maybe Mark knows you know exactly where she is. For now, she's playing a little bit close. And all the other members cut the noise. And suddenly, the fake. They're immediately rushing, but look at Zol Meraki. They know exactly what is going left. on. Leaving only two, one on B link and one heading towards C. They know exactly through and through the playbook of Ultra Ego Celeste. The opening coming through by Best. The Concuss as well coming through. And Neri will be the one to get the first pick onto Best. Third Rosie gets a trade at least for her teammate. Camille gets one, but not for Napsky. Takes her out. Whoa. Rosie from the backside. 10 HP still gets one. They're one waiting for eliminated. Iceberg. Beautifully done. And there's only one more person to worry about. Aluka. She has turned all the way to the other side. Oh. That cross was already seen by Capricious. That's insane. Boost your statistics up a lot more every time you win these pistol rounds, especially if you win both in the map. Satchel out. Satchel out. Uh, changes that come through is just so insane. And Mary makes it out a lot. She gets so much space. She needs that right click. Miha is waiting. And so is Rosie. The spray is coming through. Coming you pushes out. Tries to go for through for two, but Iceberg with the frenzy. Catches her off guard. Rosie fights Iceberg in the clean round once again. Even in a day full of surprises, that one it's not befallen me. <laughs> right Zol, they've got the bonus here to utilize. They were able to convert some of their ecos a while ago in the first half. They can do it once more here on the defense, trying to contest early on towards long. Haunts on out. Drone catches that info and realizes at least three players here at the minimum. And that pulls the defense. Doesn't actually move it too much. I mean, they have the right positions for it anyways. Miha is here towards a link, the default spot you're going to expect to breach anyways. You're in a good spot to really fend off a lot of Alter Ego's intents. Ayumi, she's great with the opening. As it happened, Bess only gets tagged a little while. That smoke will deter them, but Neri... Playing it very quiet. No one has spotted her out yet. Might be seen eventually by Rosie. They do know now at least. All eyes trained in the area. She plays it safe. Waiting for her teammates just to give some information. So long as they get some info on the site, she's able to take up space. And here comes the pain shells just to clear out the back of site here. Rosie takes some damage. Regardless, she is not afraid to push through the smokes. We know that she can catch people off guard, but the timing is key and icebergs is great. Finds Miha. They haven't found those inside of smoke. How many wow. is in there is the question? Rosie good for one iceberg so finds one, but not before Capricious finds her in return. It's still two on two situation. Ring around the Rosie, but there's no Rosie. Regardless, Napsky, how are you going to be playing this Ten when your teammate left. is so far away that Star will at least buy some one time, but remaining. the sprays come through. Capricious finds a Luka! Moves away! Oh. Capricious, good for three. What Dude. the heck is that play? I am in Thanks. shock and awe! They are so good, Zolmaraki, right now. That single smoke in between the site and where the default plant typically is, troll remains. <laughs> in this Call case, I won't blame you. Regardless. Trying to figure out here what exactly can AECL do? It's 
had some pretty great thrifties in the past. She walked oh, in with out. that. Best with that concuss. Oh, what a shot! She still gets it in the end, gets the tip of her knee. Not a great day. Thought that she could get out of that, but Kamini has been extremely sharp today, and Yari does find Miha. So at least that's one consolation prize. Zal. They seem to have found themselves steadied after some shakier rounds early on. Now they're playing a lot more better. Revealing area. Crazy. Found them. How much precision, how much thinking, how each round is not you you want to think it's chaotic, but it's honestly organized chaos. Look at this. Rosie uh, moves backwards. Immediately she sprays out, not able to win that. But here we go. Capricious with the trade. Capricious moves out. She has a better gun, but Napsky is just better with the taps. Regardless, they are dwindling the weaponry. And this is a bad situation. It's a thrifty round that Alter Ego Celeste really wants. You hear the footsteps, and Ayumi from inside the smoke along that iceberg wins it. And this is a thrifty. They wanted to bring them back into the game. And what was really good about that round too as well, the wave, if anything, to turn the currents and the tide their favor. Mary, she wants to play speed immediately. Oh, catching out Rosie stuck in that gravity well. That was brutal. And that's their information gone at least. It's gonna be a bit rough. They can rely at least on Kamiyu's trademark for a little while. Cutting the noise, but look at Zolmaraki. They are not reacting at all. Brilliant here on that gravity well. You can see really a lot of Ineri's value is found in those super aggressive plays. At first, she's super, super proficient at, but so is Capricious. He's got an angle here, a committed one, but she can ba dash back out in a safety if they so choose so. This smoke, once again, is going to be a big problem for her. She burns that haunt. She's giving her position away. The dash isn't prepped, and she gets found and traded. Goodbye, sometime. We have to stay waiting. Here comes the nightfall. Everyone gets tagged. Kamiyu gets out of the way. Regardless, Miha still waiting in the smoke. Ayumi was prepped and primed for her. They don't fall for the smoke and mirrors game anymore. It's Kamiyu. She's struggling to find an angle as Neri. Right this is there. one of the most annoying places to worry about. Because from the back side, she finds us. She finds best. It's a really good choke point as ADCL finds them to back in their hands. Well, you would know. Crowd control. The Reigns could too in a softer way. So there really is a lot to shake up and force out angles here from Zal. They have so much corner clearing that those type of committed angles are really hard to pull off when you're Zal on the defense. Still waiting for buying, buying time. See this aggressive angle Camille is playing. She wants that value from that Marshall. But for the rest as well, look at the push out from A. They're trying to play the same way ECL played, is to catch them off guard. But the headhunter is prepped in prime. Camille does get seen. Immediately moves out of the way. Ayumi, she already has control of the garage. They're very aware they're pushing through. That aftershock will at least buy some time. Not before Ayumi takes out Kamiyu, teleports out of the way. And Mary, she's wide and ready to just press W and go full speed ahead into the site. Bess, she's gonna get concussed here. And Mary runs up, clears logs, finds two at least with the help of Nabsky. Ayumi's still waiting here just in case someone wants to play the wraparound. I wonder why we see their Kamiyu try and peek that when. She very well could have committed to one angle, and if it gets too hot, TP out to safety. She had the rendezvous set up for her to go back all the way to CT, but over committing on that fight, too many eggs. Not even a basket to put it in. Capricious finds that kill on Ayumi, gives him a lifeline, a path to prosperity, but it's still going to be quite difficult. I think they're going to concede this round. They go for the save instead, and Alter Ego Celeste. They've cut this lead to much more digestible numbers, Tosh. This is looking close. She wants to get those guns out of the way, but they are going to be finding her eventually. She's running for her life. 
She can get the big crystal. Off. Can she get one? She gets one. Can she get two at least? Oh. Staying safe inside of smoke finally goes down. Amiri was prepped and primed from the smoke play. Well, only two points away. You want to play? We can't just Let's keep playing play. aggressive. Two of the fours popped. And Ayumi, we know that she can be a pretty sharp shooter. She wins most of these aim jewels while is up and up. Capricious plays behind the smoke. This will at least buy some time. Come you. This aggressive angle is so good for her. She's on the eco. She has nothing to lose. But she does get found out running for her life. Playing underneath. Honkas will buy some time at least. They know she's over there. She is stuck. And Aneri takes her out. That's a great pick here from Aneri. It's an eco though here from Zal. So don't really expect too much. As of yet. Maybe a few picks here and there, but... Separate rounds, Ultra Ego are great at converting. Capricious, oh no, he's given her hand away. She's cramped in the corner. Uses her dash to get back into safety, Ooh, but look at this, Rosie! Down a. He responds with that Hunter's Fury, takes down Iceberg, best That's on the fine. other end of the floor, gets a kill, but the Yumi trades it out. 2v2, winnable still now for Zal. They made things equalized. This is a great round! The idea was scary, very risky. 30 seconds left. But to just bunch them up on main and letting that Hunter's Fury rip there has been huge. Aneri only with 50 HP left. She survives. But zero shields, only 50 HP. Little sneeze can take her out. Yeah, Neha, she's... You're looking the wrong way left. here, buddy. But they all clear the site all the way to the back site. She's this is a great thing. Spike planted. In this situation, she can get one. Can she get two? Is the question. After shock, Ayumi responds. Uh huh. One on one. Shock dart. Oh no. Ayumi gets it in the end. This will be three K for her. Great clutch. Why does? With, I guess, a bit of a consolation that that damage has been done. Precious playing aggressive here, pushing up. She cannot reveal her head. We all know that there's these picks. They know that she's there. She needs to run for her life. Thankfully, makes it out. She still wants to double dip. The aggression mm -hmm. coming through from Zol. They want to make something happen. That's the problem here. For our Alter Ego Celeste, they're okay with letting everyone push out to hurt them. But now, look at that. It's only Capricious playing this aggressive move. The rest aren't. They're still holding on, and the suspicion, you can see the rotation coming in from Miha. They have an idea that it's going to be a C hit. Ultra Ego. That That's C hit good? confirmed. What a spray oh. through the smoke. Best goes down. That's huge. That's her smoke drop. And now they don't have any real much control over the post plant. The Rolling Thunder comes out though, which is huge. It hits so many players. Three of them connect, but the Neri still fights back even though she's concussed. It doesn't matter. He goes big. Absolutely huge. Insane double kill for her. They've stormly taken left. this round. When it's all oh, seemed fan. like they were in a great spot. In area third. Oh. One of the best players, if oh, not the best player house. in APAC. Answering back. And Aluka follows up. This is not for nothing. It is for not. Not something that you can really just gain overnight. No matter if it's your honeymoon or not. That time. That experience can only be molded by their really success in the past. They want to continue that here. They've been atop of the world, top of the scene for APAC, on top of the continent for this start, for this entire two years, but this is the big one. This is where it really comes down to you if they can convert Alter Ego Celeste. You want to by all means, it. they should have the advantage to take the round here. Rosie's caught out. She's in a deadly spot. Headshot really bad situation to be in. She does not have an escape. Capricious Whoa. does find two. Capricious doing really well converting this round to her favor regardless. Gonna wait this out. Gonna wait for her teammates to play together at least. And Napsky is the same little area that she's playing in. But she does not see anyone at all because they're playing in the corner. The little puppy. Capricious before she gets through, but she has no clue where to look. Look wow. at that chokehold coming through like Anthos. They realize that that updraft is a potential that Capricious is probably going to attempt. So they plant in a safe spot away from that sight line. And then when that smoke was there to block out the hell angle, you see Nabsky 
coming closer to make sure that she can swing at the moment's notice if the rest of her team does need it, and that they do. So perfectly played here, Alter Ego Celeste, that veteran experience they have as a team, it's coming in pretty clearly. They have so many different angles covered. Do you see the change in Capricious's uh, positioning? Earlier it was on A, play aggressive, but this time she put herself on to B. There is a star in front of B as well, just in case to prevent that fast sort of like, takes. Clearing every single air area, AECL has learned that if you do not clear an angle, Zol Meraki would take the advantage and run away with it. Rolling thunder. Rolling thunder as well. Here comes explosive play. Clears out the backside. They know to check as well the little corner that they have played in. Now the problem is these smokes make it so hard to retake sight as well as the cross. And Miha, what she's going to be doing here is clearing out hell with those uh, aftershocks. And she's going to be catching one at least in front of sewers. But they're flashing downwards, nearly missing that hit. Be careful on the readdress, as you say, don't double dip. It's common courtesy. Alter Ego, they've taken so much damage in this fight. Finds Rosie finds one. Iceberg good for the trade, but Miha's there, ready at the cusp. Advantage here in the player count for Zol! But Miha goes big! 1v1! And Miha still comes out on top from heaven! Sends down Iceberg in hell! And from when she came, she shall remain! Zol, take the round and tie up the game! Really, really close round! Miha, just stellar play all throughout this day. Fault line coming on them. Gains control early here of this long position. The operator in the hands of Kami removed from the situation. She's locking down the B site, but they need her on this A defense. They pull her now, eventually. Her tension's split, but now she's able to try and help this defense on that A site. Swaps out. For Miha, who can still affect the fight, who's got a Rolling Thunder to play with. Right here. Now, Alter Ego Celeste, how did they deal with this? Face Knowing that that defensive fear. Rolling Thunder is at the cusp. Nightfall comes on out. Operator shot rings out as well. Here's the showstopper. It connects. They Ooh. find the pick off of it. Bomb by Look at how many utilities have been put over on that side. Get rid, gets rid of the Ruka. Spike planted. Kamu, she wants to push out. She has an op in hand. Capricious now on the top side. She does get tagged. Eventually wow. does get found out by Ayumi. Gonna clear out with the Rolling Thunder. Immediately pushing outwards, but Kamiyu has to reposition. But Aneri uh -oh. was ready for the other side. Look at this crossfire coming through. It's a complete chokehold as Iceberg plays inside of the smoke. But Miha does find one. Ayumi finds it. Miha good for two. We know that Miha can be great for the Slashes. Make it three. Suddenly it's a one on two situation. And Neri says that's enough. Brings it to 12. Match point for AECL. Amazing match round point. here from Alter Ego. Have Iceberg wait in hell so she can prep a concuss for whenever that Rolling Thunder comes. She can keep them at bay and save them. ACL. Zol gives them a challenge and AECL answers. Here. It's been a tug of war between these two teams, but not before AECL takes so many rounds in a row. It seems like Zol still hasn't been able to figure out how exactly to stop this rampage. It always starts the same way for AECL. Play it slow, try to get from the picks, and suddenly as With soon as the vision. clock hits 50 seconds, it's a very, very aggressive and fast push to the point that it's so oppressive because of the utility usage as well as a Neri's rampage. Revealing it's a cycle for sure. One they don't mind. One that they know they can swing their way. Fault line here. It connects Bess in a very difficult spot. She's got a mere sheriff to try and fend him off. The bulldog has Ooh, to go Bess big with Bess. It. That's an amazing shot she connects with here. Final round of regulation and Bess going big. Capricious on the back of the site, but she's been caught out. Aluka going absolutely huge in this round. 3v2. No rifles in the hands of Zal to fight with. 30 seconds left. I only lost two in this round. There's only two sheriffs to work with. Rosie with the Spectre. She sprays. But what is there to spray when you can't get the long range? You don't know where exactly they are. Not too oh, sure what happened there in Garage. But here comes the Rolling Thunder in return. It's really hard to take that space when the Aftershock is there as well. Navsky eventually does find Miha. And there's only one person to worry about. It's gonna be Rosie. What are you gonna be doing? She hides from the haunt. It's gonna be a bit hard to push through. She can at least get one 
value out of it, but look at this two level shots here. And Napsky ends the game and they take game one and it's a sigh of relief from AEC.